what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna go get my buddy's 1972 Super Beetle, but we're gonna make it a fun little project and we're gonna take my uh, show truck. I know a lot of people cringe when I call a brick nose Ford my show truck, but you know, it's clean. I put some work into it, I like it. That's what matters here. So if you're uh, a veteran to the channel, you probably saw this thing about two years ago. I came out here in the middle of winter. It had a topper on it. It was ugly. It was kind of beaten and it wasn't running. And I said it was going to be a project. And then I bought it and then never recorded anything about it. So today we're going to take this thing to Brainerd. We're going to pick up my buddy Phil along the way. He's going to be picking up his Beetle in Brainerd. And I'll tell you a little bit about the truck along the way. So this is my 1987 Ford F-250 single cab, long box, four wheel drive with a carbureted 460 under the hood. Uh, it rides like hell, it drinks gas, um, just an 80s truck, you know, nothing special, but I like it a lot. I got it from my buddy about three years ago and I've been kind of working on it. I think I can pull up a picture somewhere of what it looked like when I got it. So since owning it, I have wet sanded the whole top half and re-clear coated it. I've, I've pulled the interior up, put a new carpet in, had the seats steam cleaned, cleaned the dash up, kind of had some, tried to do some uh, work on the headliner. I tried something new. Uh, I thought I could kind of, rather than using pins, I thought I could uh, get a little syringe full of glue and that kind of worked. Um, I took all, I took the smog pumps out and removed most of the vacuum system because it just was endless, endless vacuum leaks. I've rebuilt the carburetor. Uh, that worked for a while. It's starting to plug up again. So uh, I've got a new Holly 4 barrel I'm going to put in it at some point. I just haven't had a chance yet. I want to put a new intake manifold and new exhaust manifolds on it. There's, there's there's big plans for this truck and I've just been slowly chipping away at it and then uh, as I was starting to make some good progress and I built a good workshop space for it had kind of a disaster in the wind in January of 2023 um, my buddy and I built a 40 foot by 120 foot hoop shed we we're storing our trucks in there and then we got record snowfall and the thing collapsed and squished both of our trucks so I got a picture somewhere of what this one looked like I built a really iffy looking roll bar out of scrap metal and I think that's what saved my ass the build when the building fell one of the supports fell right on the cross member and it caved the roof in until it hit the roll bar and then it stopped so I think that's what saved me not to toot my own horn, it's not like it's a super nice roll bar, but it did buckle the box side doing that, so I was a little sidetracked doing body work on it this summer, just spent a lot, my insurance took one look at it and totaled it, so I bought it back, I spent about two weeks in my driveway with a bottle jack and a 2 by 4 just banging all the dents out, I put some plastic uh, bed rail covers on just to hide how crunchy it got, uh, the tailgate did not survive, so now it's just a uh, doesn't have a tailgate anymore. We'll figure that out later. Uh, it's still got some evidence of, uh, of being crushed, but overall, it's looking pretty good. It's running pretty good. It definitely needs more work, and I'm hoping to record a lot of that for the YouTube channel. Hey, this is Phil. Hey, this is Sam. Oh. So, where are we going? Uh, we're heading to Emily, Minnesota, in the middle of nowhere. We're gonna go uh, pick up my car. Um, I've got a 71 bug that I, should I, we, uh, uh, should we save that? Oh yeah. 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 It'll be a surprise. You can edit that out. No, no. Fix it. They can know it's a bug. Okay. It'll be a surprise though. It'll be a surprise. Um, gotta go pick my bug up from my dad's shop and we'll uh, drive it back. Hopefully we'll both make it in our, in our old rigs. I didn't bring any tools. We're going to see how this goes. I brought very few tools. Is your, is your bug reliable? Uh, yeah, it's not bad. I drove it from... Not really the answer I was hoping for. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I drove it from Duluth to Fargo and back, so that's about a nine-hour drive round trip. Ran like a clock. This is the farthest I've ever driven this truck in one shot. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, wow. And I'm not bringing tools, and it's... 
I know for a fact it has a bad starter solenoid. Hey, it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Just shake it really hard. Just shake it. Hey, that's how I do it on my uh, daily, I, actually. <coughs> more than once, Jared's watched me beat my starter solenoid in a Gatorade bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. But, all right, we'll see you in Emily, Minnesota. Hello bird. Hello bird. Hello bird. ran like a real hoss it seems to have made it here yeah this building is large-ish huge-ish even oh we're going in yeah we're going in Just now? No, I broke it like a couple months ago. Nice. Well, give us a quick walkthrough of the Beetle. What's that? Give us a walkthrough. All right. Ugh. This is my 71 bug. Super Beetle. So I was wrong. I thought it was a 72. Ooh. No, the Baja's a 72. I was close. Very close. <laughs> Um, it's got a Subaru EJ202 in it. At some point, imported from Japan, JDM. Um, runs like a clock, runs on a standalone view. I've got some MK4 facilities uh, on it, but I got some better, better caps, duty ratings. I've got BBS wheels that are going to be going on it. Uh, got my radiator up front kind of hidden, keep it cool. It's a really nice and cool day today, so I'm keeping my fun. Um, as long as I can make it back to the loop, it's fine. In good shape. Same. I miss it. I missed it. Now I have it back. <laughs> Let's see the interior. Oh, well, I've got some junk in the interior. But I've got, uh, so this is a sway bar that's going to go in the rear. It looks like a box. Oh, there's already some in here, that's too bad. Heck. Yeah, no kidding. Um, these seats are from a Honda Civic, and in the back is the AC box that I don't have quite done yet, and then the intake. Um, and then the dashboard is all, all new at the moment. Um, padded dash, the steering wheel is vintage, but I wrapped it. It's got Bluetooth. Of course, it works. Slightly modernized. Yeah, you know, and, and I've still got a lot more stuff I want to do. I want to get it lower. I want the same wheel size on both. I want to autocross it next summer. It's the That'd be a fun autocross It'll car. Be super fun. All right, we just got Phil's Beetle. Um, we're gonna run over to a gas station now because I am running dangerously low. And then we're going to go to his parents' house and then head back to Duluth. So, see you then.